Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Plants Zoo. My name is Nessa and today we are looking at the Dama Gazelle, Adra Gazelle remaster and new variants mud by Game Boy. That was a mouthful. Um, but uh, the Dama Gazelle is of course one of the newer animals in Planet Zoo and therefore it's not one of the worst at all. But he actually makes... Uh, put a focus on some of the things that I actually haven't thought about, but he have a really good point. Uh, on the picture here below me, you can see it from Zoopedia as is um, the one that Frontier made. And there's clearly a big difference. Going over to uh, Nexus, where you can download the mod. Uh, you can see here, Damagazelle. Uh, he writes, increases dimorphism on Damagazil and makes color brighter as well as adding different variants to their markings. He continues down here. This mud improves sexual dimorphism of Damagazil by tweaking the models of both male and female. Um, has been made, uh, male has been made thicker and bulkier while females have been made thinner and slim. Base texture has been changed to reflect proper white tones instead of grayish cream ones. I'm a little afraid about that but we are gonna go look at it in a minute as well as brighten the belly. Frontier's default coat has been moved to a variant slot described as cream coat and is now a rare variant considering its dark color colors not so common in real life. New variants consist of a bunch of marking changes on their neck, shoulder and blanket. Some of them having those areas red while others have them white. One of the the variants also adds a th thigh mar markings. Juveniles have not been altered other than making them smaller, and then he goes into the mud needing XC and so on. So forty. Ooh, what did I just click? Forty. I think it's male. We're gonna look at first. Could you stop? Okay, I'm just gonna. There. Okay. For the male here, he's begun bulkier. He actually doesn't look bulkier on my... for me. Um, however, the coloration's difference is also very different. As you can see here, it's much more white. And as you know, white is a really rare thing uh, to happen in the wild. It doesn't seem white in most places, but especially here on the highlights, it looks very light wide so we will have to look at that in the game it didn't seem to change much with the horn but in general you can see the colorations is very different um i don't think it looks much bulkier but again this is taken for the side and maybe it's from front you can see it's just become wider that is a possibility Looking at the females, though, it is quite clear that it's been slimmed down, especially here up around the belly uh, and the neck area as well. The mouth area here also looks a little interesting, but besides that, we do not have a lot going on. We have a right coat and blanket with red neck, white coat and blanket with red neck and shoulders. Yep's and white coat with red neck, shoulders and thin markings. Now I haven't actually looked for any of these colorations so I'm not sure what I actually got in the game. We're just gonna jump into the one I have here in Future Life Sub-Sahara Africa but it seems like they're all the same. Yeah pretty much but again I only had the original color in here I haven't bought any more. Um, so that may have something to do with it. I will mention though, they look very, very light now. And that is of course the point, but it's also something that I just think sometimes seems a little off. Maybe I just, I can see, 
I have the game here and then over here I can see the screen with my recording and the color difference from my gaming screen is much brighter, much wider than my recording screen. So maybe it will appear a little more or less white on your computer. That is quite a possibility. I will say though, even though he did make it much more white, he still made these different hairs with shadows or such. So it's not like he didn't make it bad or anything like that. It still looks good. It's not like one white flat surface so i'm not mad at it but i am i think maybe i just need to get used to that color because it's zooming in here it looks quite good it's just from out here it looks off that it's so white because we're just not used to seeing so white animals as he mentioned he really didn't get into much with the babies now what I want to see is can I actually tell the males and females apart and I actually guess that this is a male that's actually our alpha male and then this is the female yes now it was a little cheating it looks like they're about to <laughs> mate but looking at it here there is a different you can see here the girl the female here is have a bulk here on the belly where the baby would be in where the male's bulk is further back i know he's also standing a little more back but you can see the indent here is on a longer stretch than it is up here the neck area for the female is also much thinner this is actually the perfect animation to look at it. And just the facial structure just seems much more bulky on the male. His horns is actually also small, big, wider up here. I'm not sure if it was like that beforehand. I'm not sure. But I actually really like that we get these things in place because most deer-like animals, antelope, deer, gazelles, and so on, and bovines in general um we do not get these small details we can see if there's a difference between the males have horns or the males are like th twice as big then we get it but these small facial feature differences sometimes frontier just skip them if they don't see it as a important thing anyway guys that's all i wanted to show you here again it is a mud that's overall looks really good uh, and it's up to you if it's something that you want to have they do get a little grayer here when they get in water but that is as expected i would say anyway guys i gonna leave you here and you know the drill like subscribe and turn on the bell and notifications so you know the next time i upload a video I really hope to see you again, either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye guys!